Well, it's a good idea because together we can actually do more because we've, we've got bigger size and we've got greater scale um, and we've got an ability to actually make ourselves uh, more visible out in the global world. We have a very successful institute here in New Zealand and similarly the institute in Australia is very successful. But we have some serious strategic challenges is what we decided a few years ago. And a lot of those um, have been summarised in the three themes that have emerged out of this process, preeminence, relevance and reach. And I've come to the conclusion over the last two years of thinking deeply about this and working on the um, proposal that this is the right thing to do for the su future success of our institute. We are at the end of the line. We are the end of the terminus. We can be small and perfectly formed all by ourselves, but that is not a sustainable position. So separate from the cost of getting the right PD and us needing to share that with someone else, small and perfectly formed at the end of the terminus is just not a good place to be. So I want to be part of something trans-Tasman and that's because I'm aspirational about the Asia-Pac piece and I want um, a ticket that stays relevant and I want good quality PD. Well, if I looked at it from two sides, from a New Zealand Institute point of view, we are a 30,000 member professional body who is actually very highly regarded around the world. The challenge for us is to maintain that. So for us to, to actually hold ourselves up and be the best we can be for our members, that involves investment and that involves intellectual capital and it involves collaborating with the right people at a higher level. To allow us to do that, I believe the size and the, the economies of scale we can pick up from a merged operation is where we're looking to. Turn that to the next stage and when you reinvent it as a new institute, that's when the excitement comes. You have 90,000 members, you have a capital base to allow you to do things and you have the intellectual capital that allows you to really support your members wherever they're operating in the world. The new institute factor is very, very important here. Uh, this is not uh, one body sort of swallowing or, or merging with the other um, or taking over another one. Uh, critically, a new institute is formed as part of this and that will have the resources and the backing and the focus to deliver on uh, members' expectations, which are uh, very real in an increasingly globalised world. We've got to be relevant to Asia. We have many members in Asia. We are likely to have many members in New Zealand working uh, for people in Asia. We're likely to have many members in New Zealand at some time in their career working in Asia. We've got a real opportunity in that area to stand up, be the best and lead. It's clear, it's clear to me if we aspire to be the, a high quality professional organisation that protects the CA brand we need to be able to provide services to, to our members that, that help their career development and makes them and puts them in a position so they can perform for their employers. Well, I just think it represents a great opportunity to do something very different uh, and to do something that's um, leading edge uh, in terms of uh, institutes globally. Uh, and I think it's exciting to be part of that. As a member, I think the, the power and the ability of a fresh and uh, vibrant new institute will give us the ability and, and me as a member to um, experience a growth into the services that we can provide, the ability to move forward um, and, and remain preeminent. Well, I think it's not very often as members of the institute that we get a chance to think about the future and think about not only our future, but the future of the profession. And that's the most important aspect of this for me. We're not thinking just of ourselves, we're thinking about the next generation and the generation beyond that of members. And we need to do this for the future of the profession.